Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today we're continuing on with our 2000 AD based content and we're playing a difference of size. So as you can see here I've got a couple of judges. I have Johnny Alpha and then I have a really really tiny bless him Judge Death. So what we're looking at, because this is a comment that I see quite a lot, is how do the Mongoose models, the old Judge Dread range, um, match up to the current Warlord games size models? So obviously they're asking relative to when the new Judge Dread game comes out, which we now have an official month of November. So that's pretty cool. And hopefully in the coming weeks, I can tell you the exact date. And just for a tiny little size comparison, I threw in one of the few Games Workshop Dread models I still have. Tragically, however, I no longer have any of the um, Foundry, the War Games Foundry miniatures, uh, 2000 AD range, unfortunately. And I even then, I never had any judges. I had Slain and I had a couple of other characters, but I was never lucky enough to get any of the judges or anything like that. So, we're going to have a little look. Now, firstly, you can see tiny old little Judge Death there. Now, if we were to put him in front of anyone, like, the size is obvious. He's a smaller, smaller character, and of course he is. It's GW from the 80s. Um, he's still, though, it's a gorgeous model, and it's full of character. As is clearly evident from the fact it's badly sprayed white, and it's got some damage to its foot and stuff. I actually bought this off eBay. Um, I do have a couple of others that I still have from back in the day, Judge Fire and stuff like that, but they're, um, they need a lot of work doing to them. Um, obviously I was a lot younger when I did the, that kind of thing with them. So yeah, it, these are much, much smaller. And if you're going to compare your Games Workshop stuff, and uh, to these stuff, they're not going to match up size wise. I mean, you could get away with it if, with some padding on the base or something like that, but yeah, we'll slide him to one side and we're going to concentrate now on... We've got two different judges here. The reason I picked two different judges is because this one here is actually taller than this one anyway, as you can see from there. Um, and then I've got Johnny Alpha himself, which, as you've seen, I've now sanded up the base. Um, and he's just waiting to be sprayed. But in terms of it, cause especially because you think that Johnny's crouching slightly... The sizes are actually pretty spot on, and I think the better way to obviously show this is to bring in a couple of the other Stronium Dog models. So if we were to put him there, put him there, I know obviously depth perception is a thing for everyone except Liam, um, but they are of similar height. I mean, you couldn't 100% get away with it, of course, but I think they're fine. Yeah, so, I mean, it is, this is just going to be a quick video, and it's just because I've seen a lot of people in the comments asking. So, to sum it up, anyway, Games Workshop's Judge Dread in 2000 AD range, a lot smaller. You can still pick them up on places like eBay and a couple of the tr other trading sites, but they're harder to find and getting obviously increasingly harder and harder to find to the point that eventually you won't be able to get them anywhere. Um, the Mongoose ones, which were then obviously repurposed later by Warlord. Anyway, they are on par, if not slightly bigger than the um, Strontium Dog ones. Meaning that the Judge Dread ones, which are going to be in line with the Strontium Dog ones... Are going to be the same so they can be used together but there is a chance that the judges will look slightly smaller than the ones you already have and if you did have some foundry ones i believe they were slightly taller than the mongoose ones from what i've been led to believe i know slain's different because he was a big chunky model um but i think the judges are slightly bigger anyway from what i've read online so if you've got Strontium Dog or you're going to get Strontium Dog, obviously you'll already know because you'll have been able to match them up yourself. But otherwise, that's it. If you've got the old Mongoose Judge Dread models, you can use them along with your Strontium Dogs and your Judge Dread when the new Judge Dread game comes out. However, having seen the photos of the sculpt start to pour out, I'm not really sure why you'd want to. Um, these were nice sculpts for their day. 
but they are definitely showing their age now, much like the Foundry ones, which were fantastic sculpts in their day, but again, showing their age now. The Strontium Dog models look really, really good. The photos that have gone up for the Judge Dread models thus far look really, really good. So yeah, anyway guys, that's me. Just a short little video here. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. Let me know if you're enjoying the 2000 AD content. Check out some of our other content. I know we've got a lot of stuff coming up for things like Bot Wars, Rumble Slam's back. We've got The Walking Dead. We've still got Paint with Nate. Check that out every Saturday. As the Judge Dread models start to come out, we will get Nate to paint some up. So um, that'll be on one of the Paint with Nates. And it'll also be a real treat for me because I'm going to get him to paint a couple of mine maybe. And but yeah, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Pray the dice cards and hope they smile upon you. Take care.